Hi all, I'm Rita Ora and today I'm going to make you my mother's secret recipe in all Arabiata penne pasta with L. But before I do that, I'm going to need a little drink. So I'm going to make myself a Prospera tequila on the rocks. And as you can see, the penne is boiling. Woohoo! Who else eats food while they're cooking? Um, I think we all do. Mmm! I love pasta, I love pasta, I love pasta. So before I start cooking, obviously I have to make myself a drink and I'm gonna drink my Prospera tequila. And I'm having the Aneo, which is delicious. A little bit of ice and a little bit of tequila. And that's really all you need. Anyway, just something nice and light. You can add a bit of lime like that. I'm ready to start cooking. First and foremost, this is a meal that you can make within 10 minutes. So I'm gonna make the penne pasta and while we do all the toppings, the pasta will be cooking. So we're gonna boil a kettle or you can boil the water on the stove. I like to boil the kettle because it's quicker. I don't know about you, but I'm not really the most patient cooker in the world. So that's why I'm boiling the kettle. But of course you can boil the water on the stove. And then you're just gonna pour all the penne in there. And now I'm gonna not put it too crazy high because knowing me, I can't do two things at once. So whilst I'm making all the toppings, I don't want this to be bubbling up behind me. Okay, just to give a bit of flavor. And some olive oil. And then you let that boil. Get a little wooden, I guess, wherever you want to mix it. Oh, like I said, I'm a little bit of a messy cooker. Okay, now we do the chopping stuff. First, we're gonna, of course, chop up some garlic. Oh no, I'm not really that good at chopping up garlic and it always smells so bad on my hands. I mean, is it bad to say that actually? I actually kind of like it. I like smelling the garlic on my hands afterwards. That's, no, that's gross. I know. I just love garlic. I really love garlic. Garlic and onions, you know, it's just a bit of flavor, isn't it? We honestly are using simple things. So cherry tomatoes, tomatoes, garlic, a bit of chili, and some basil. And so there you have a lovely, clean, fresh, my mama's all arrabbiata. So we're gonna only need to chop up one garlic. We're gonna put it all in the saucepan. So, we'll put it all in there. We're gonna sizzle the garlic very lightly and don't make it go brown because brown garlic is gross. And we're gonna put some oil and we're just gonna let that garlic become delish. And just leave it like that tiny. You see, I have it on a really light, light heat there. Okay, so now what we do is we're gonna chop up some chili. I love spicy food. I like to just cut it down the middle because for me, if you like it really spicy, keep the seeds in. Um, but for some, a few of your guests don't really like that spicy, you take the seeds out. Okay, so then what you do is you just chop up the chili, like so. I learned to cook, I guess just watching my mum, you know, I always used to watch my mum make dishes, especially where I'm from in Kosovo, there were, food was a big part of our entertaining family situation, so we would always get around or everyone would sort of do something, whether it was making the salad or making the starter or chopping up everything and and it would be a way for all of us to socialize which i thought was really cute okay so we chop up the chili we pick up the chili we put the chili with the garlic okay now i am going to slice up some tomatoes and i'm gonna basically fry them how many times did I have to practice this recipe for perfecting it? Probably my whole life. I'm, I'm still trying to perfect it. Mm. Mm. Okay, now what we do is we are going to put this in the frying pan. This for me is my favorite because you see all the juice, Woo! all the loveliness. And kind of just let it go. And as you can see, the penne is boiling. Woohoo! So the tomatoes are going to dry out. We put a spoon full of pasta water, like so, in there, so it stays lovely and juicy. And then you add some salt and pepper, like that. Also, what you do is you add some basil in with the tomatoes, just put a few really, 
I love basil. Oh, personally, I think it just makes everything taste amazing. So you just put some basil in there, just like that. And then you're kind of nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. Realistically, the pasta's on for about 12 minutes, and then the sauce is on for about eight to 10 minutes. Food cooking has really brought me comfort. It's made me actually want to be in the kitchen more and experiment more. And I've had a lot of mistakes, but I've actually learned a lot. And it's been really nice to just get sweaty in the kitchen and try and figure some things out. And if you're lucky to be in lockdown with someone, it's like, hey, can you taste this? What does this taste like? So it's been nice. It's been a nice hobby, I guess, that I've started to. For me, Anthony Bourdain really was experimental and all over the world. It taught me a lot of things about food from all over the world. So. Little fun fact about me, when I tour, I always look at where Anthony Bourdain's been and I go to the same restaurants because they're gonna be delicious. Let me just check on the pasta. This is boiling really well. We've only got a few minutes left there. Delish. This is looking very good. We are nearly there, guys. Yeah! For the video, I am gonna put in some chopped tomatoes from this tin can just to give it a little bit more juice. Yum! Um, you can of course do this naturally, but I just wanted to just help this along a little bit and give it some mm, yum. The thing is with Italian cooking, which I love, it's mm, all about simplicity. So what I love about this pasta and this meal is my mum always taught me like less is more. So I really hope I make her proud. So we're so close to the finish line. So what we're gonna do now is obviously the pasta that's been cooking for just over 10 minutes going to drain it. The little trick is what I've been told is you basically put the pasta in the sauce, not the sauce in the pasta. Don't know why, that's just how it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this hot sauce, but be careful, make sure you don't put it on anything like marble, put it on some wood. Because we're doing a healthy version, I'm gonna do some olive oil, just to give it a little extra kick. Just mix that so it doesn't feel all dry, like that. And we're gonna put it in the saucepan, yum! Oh my God, I'm so proud, I can't believe it. So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a spoon and we're gonna basically mix it all together. But remember, put it back on to the cooker for just like an extra minute or so, just to give you that extra yumness. Guys, we're so close. Mm. For me, it's just all about, you know, it feeling fresh and tasting fresh and get all that tomato up there. Mm, yum. Mm. I love pasta, I love pasta, I love pasta, I love pasta, I love pasta. I'll eat that for about a minute. I'm gonna get a knife and fork and it's nearly time to serve up. Okay, so you've got your bowl ready for serving. This has been now cooking and it's done. Because I also can't wait any longer because I'm starving. We, my friends, are going to pour it into the bowl. Of course, not all of it, but like me, I like to eat something. So. Oh, yum. Okay, presentation, guys. I mean, of course, I'm not like a professional chef here. But like I said, so we have it. Mm, it's going to be delicious. I like to do a little bit of cheese, parmesan, and some basil. And because I'm filming this with you guys and Elle, I'm going to make it look pretty. Oh, yum. Yum, 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 yum. that. And then just a tiny bit of olive oil just to finish it off so it just looks really shiny and lovely and delicious. Mama, I've made it. So thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to stay tuned to something very exciting happening this year in 2020 and subscribe with Elle to see more videos like this.